it was really good. University of Miami Hurricane football. Fans, your boy Alonzo. One, two, one, nine, eight, eight, dollar. Right. Back in the building. About to do another video. Miami versus LSU. So I'm gonna get that one kicked in a little bit. We're just gonna talk. We're not gonna talk a whole bunch of stats, but I'm gonna just talk a little bit. We're just going to see what you guys think. I know we've been going to war with LSU. Had my fatigues on and everything because I'm just getting like aggravated with some of the LSU fans and some of the SEC fans. But we're not gonna get into that day. We're gonna talk a little bit of the game. Now, look at this here, man. That's what I told you. I keep telling y'all. I'm going to do YouTube videos. If I'm going to do YouTube videos. I don't care if I'm in here or Brooklyn, Mississippi. There's no place called Brooklyn, Mississippi, I don't think. I don't care where I'm at. I'm going to get these. And these came in today. I mean, yesterday. And these are my season tickets. Okay, I owe it to the school. I owe it to the football players. And I owe it to the fan base. And since I'm not the most knowledgeable person on YouTube, as people have pointed out, I'm going to spend my hard-earned money and support my football team. So, these are my season tickets that came in. Pretty nice little case. Um, you know, they give you all this little stuff. Little, little, you only seen no stickers, though. It's kind of aggravating because I didn't even get any stickers. I got 20% off the cane, cane store, which, no disrespect, that gift card is really not worth too much because everything up in, up there is marked up 40% more. So it's, really, so it's really not worth a lot, you know what I'm saying, because it's expensive to shop on, on in, in any of those stores. You know what I'm saying? Um, about 20% off again. I wish they'd have sent me some stickers or something. You want to send us some stickers, man. We like, we like to, um, I like to put stickers on everything. So send me some stickers next time. But these are my season tickets. These are my 2018 season tickets. And I got kind of confused because I was looking at this one and I posted everywhere that um I thought I had LSU tickets. <laughs> I like, we're not supposed to get LSU tickets with our season ticket pass. And I knew that, but I thought I got them anyway. I was like, yo, somebody done messed up and gave me LSU tickets. So somebody in some trouble. So since that didn't happen, you know, it is what it is. But hey, let's talk a little bit of LSU, man. Just a little bit. Now, I'm not a big, I don't know everybody at LSU. Like LSU claims that like they know Miami. But um, their starting quarterback, Joe Burrow. Burrow, Burrow, however you pronounce his name. My thing is, they, they, they're, they're hoping, they're putting their whole football season on that guy, right? Same guy who couldn't win the starting quarterback job at Ohio State. And you got people saying, well, you know this, that, this, that. One thing Urban Meyer has never really made too many mistakes on his quarterbacks. You can say whatever you want to say about him. He hasn't made too many mistakes on quarterbacks. So I'm not about to sit here and let you guys sit here and say, okay, well, this guy's trash or anything like that, or he's just not good enough. I'm not even I'm not even gonna I'm not even going, you know, say, like that's what we saying. You know, I, I just don't I don't know where this guy is. You guys, like, I had a guy come on last week, and he was like, you know, y'all just don't know how good he is. You guys just think he trash. Y'all don't know. Well, I mean, he he transferred for, for a reason. Um, he couldn't win the starting job at Ohio State. And Urban Meyer guesses pretty well on quarterbacks from, from what I've seen. So I'm not sold on him as your quarterback. Um, Coach O, I'm not sold on Coach Ogeron. You know, he's never been a successful head coach in his career. You know what I'm saying? He has the opportunity to do it now. He's always been an interim guy. He has the opportunity to do it now, but he's never been successful at doing it. And the guys know I bash Mark Rick a lot, but he's at least been successful. You know, um, he at least he at least have been to the SEC championship game a couple times. Um, with a good team, he didn't, you know, limp in there. It wasn't like LSU limped the last couple of years. They fired Les Miles for a reason. They hired Coach O because they really didn't, there was nobody out there for them to go get. So Coach O is basically a lame duck coach, and y'all know that for a fact. It's not like I'm not I'm not saying something that's true. Now, if he turns around and turns the program around, 
It is what it is, but he's not he's not that he, he's never been that guy. And that's just facts. So and there's a lot of talent at LSU. I'm not gonna sit there and knock y'all talent. But you cannot sit there and tell me that y'all are more talented than us. I mean, you, you can actually believe that, but y'all roster up top to bottom. I don't feel like they're more talented than us. Even though your stars might say it, I don't feel like your roster is more talented than us. You know what I'm saying? So we'll see. We'll see come on September 3rd. That's Sunday night. And I will be going on that Monday. I mean, that Sunday night after the game. After the game, Alonzo 1219, Attitude Persona 5 will be on to take calls and go at anybody. And we're not going to lose. We're not going to lose that game, I'm telling you. This is, this is going to be Coach Rick, hopefully his coming out party, to let people know that he's going to put people on notice because, including myself, because there's been so much trash talk. There's been so much, you know what I'm saying, including by myself. It's been so much just, I, I've been aggravated. I'm not going to sit here and lie to you. So, I mean, I, I believe that he's going to come out and he, he's even going to try to prove me wrong. Even though it's not proving me wrong, he's going to try to prove me wrong. Um, I'm, I'm just sitting here and, and, I, and, I, and I'm looking and I'm like, okay. Offensively, we, mo we may both be challenged when it comes to certain things, but I still think our offense is better than y'all. Y'all offense has been one-dimensional for the past, what, six, seven years? Just one-dimensional for like the past six, seven years. Um, even even with our end up on offense, our offense is still better than LSU offense. I know y'all got that big defense, the big defensive line that we got to worry about. But as long as we get the ball out quick, I'm not I'm not worried about, you know what I'm saying, that defensive line really causing too much havoc. Um... I know that you guys are quick, fast, but we're quick, fast. We might, I think we're quicker and faster on the outside, on the edges. So that's that's another thing that I'm not too concerned about. Um, I, I just I, I feel like I just feel like we're we're a better team, and maybe I'll break it down a little bit tomorrow because actually this is a late night video. It's 12 a.m. and I decided to do something, so this is a late night video. But I just feel like I feel like top to bottom. I just feel like. We're a more talented team. Not just because I'm going for the home team. I just feel like we're more talented than LSU. Um, I feel like LSU's taking a hit over the past couple of years because of because of um, what's going on with head coaching. Um, Air was wrong just getting the position last year. Les Miles actually um, Les Miles actually you know losing his job to Coach Orgeron. Um Them giving him a new contract extension and then having to pay him to get rid of him. You know, it's just a lot of things going on at LSU right now. Also, I feel like LSU, actually, they, they should be one of the best teams in the country because of their recruiting base, and there's nobody there to challenge them. But for some reason, they can't They can't seem to – I know they won two in the past, you know, 20 years or whatever, but for some reason they can't be consistent with all that talent in, in Louisiana. I'm just not understanding that. So you guys can get mad at me all you want. I don't really care. You know what I'm saying? But when it comes to this you thing, I'm telling you, I, I just don't feel like you guys going to get it done. Not just that. We got to travel 1,500 miles, and you guys only got to travel four. So we already know how the SEC and LSU set that up. You know what I'm saying? Maybe next year we can have a – a couple years from now, we can have a a, a, a neutral site game in Orlando. See how that, see how that works for y'all on neutral site. You know what I'm saying? But, you know, it's not a neutral site game. You guys are set up, you guys are trying to set yourselves up to win. And I'm just telling you, it's not going to happen. It's just not. I just feel like we are, we, I just feel like we're a better team. Um, I definitely feel like our defense is way better coached. I just feel like our defense is going to dominate. I feel like Coach Manny D and somebody talking about Michael Jackson, serious, for real. And we worried about that. We worried about you guys going and picking that Michael Jackson. Go ahead and pick on him. Go ahead and pick on him so he can have a, so he can have a, a couple pick sixes and that turnover chain come out. And we get a few points in our offense when you have to put points up on the board. You know what I'm saying? So we're not, I'm not concerned about LSU's offense. I'm not concerned about the, um, the, the, the young quarterback that's coming over from um, Ohio State because he couldn't win the job at Ohio State. Fact. He couldn't win the job there. So let's see how good he gets against this, this dominant Manny Diaz defense. Let's see how that work out for you. You know what I'm saying? So we'll be doing another video tomorrow. We'll be live tomorrow. Any LSU um, Mitches want to come on and talk to me, you can come on and talk to me. I'm all for it. 
But you know it is what it is, man. This is a Kane thing. You wouldn't understand. You feel me? Attitude personified, man. That's who I am. That's who I'm always be. Like it, love it, or get out of my way. You feel me? And another guy who made a comment about me not being somebody else, I'm not that guy. I made that comment on Mark Rogers' show, I'm not that guy. I'm not gonna apologize for it. He's very insightful. I listen to him when he talks. Me and two totally different guys. You don't have to listen to me, man. I'm all good with that. I got a lot of fan base. I got a lot of people out there who love me. For me. I'm going to continue to be me. I'm going to stay in the gym and get strong like I'm doing. Work out. Ah. Let my gray grow through my beard. Get my grown and sexy on. <laughs> I love you guys, man. I'm out of here, man. We out.